All right, I got one more Miss Freight on position three at 1230. And before you know it, the two o'clock will be here. All right, Asbury and Ector. Take yourselves off me, please. Both of you raise your right hands. Do you swear a firm testimony you're about to give is the truth, old truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, Ms. Asbury, you have any witnesses or just you? It's just me. What about you, Ms. Ector? Um, no, ma'am. All right, go ahead, Ms. Ector. You still want to go for it, Ms. Asbury? Yes, I do. All right, go ahead. Start from the most recent event, please. Please, please, please. Okay. Stay focused. The, the, mo right. the most recent event was September the 11th. Um, but we've been going through this for a year and a half, but the most recent event was September 11th. Um, my neighbor, I was, I work all the time, all the time, Your Honor. And I also do community. Um, I have a nonprofit, so I'm out in the community all the time. But my neighbors kind of look out for me because they know, kind of know what's going on. And they called me and said that it was an altercation going on at my, um, at my home down at 25 I went down like I always do to try to escalate the uh, situation. And uh, Miss Ector, we call her Drill. Um, she's always coming to our property, and I have a property right up the street. Which uh, my son stays in the um, twenty five ninety Avondale. She has a child by my son, and she. Um, you know, since she had the baby, it, you know, she just out of control. Um, I wish both of them would go to family council to, you know, try to find out how to co-exist with the child. But Miss Ector, she'll get mad with my son and she takes it out on the whole family where she makes threats towards me. Uh, every time I try to de-escalate the situation, you know, it's always a threat toward me. The um, tw threats are toward the neighbors. I mean, this, mo this neighborhood is mostly older people living in the neighborhood. And it's just like, Right now, it's just becoming an embarrassment. Um, you know, the threats are coming out of control. I, I, I don't take it lightly because I had a sister who passed for domestic violence. So I, and, I, and I even tried to talk to her and say, look, this is not the way to do it. You know, this is not the way to do it. The last, the last thing before that, um, defects will call on her because she tries to just make my son do things with the kid, even though he tried his best to do what he need to do. Um, she she go sit the child on the pudge and somebody and, and, and leave, you know, and don't even know if my son there or not. She might see the car, but she don't know if my son there or not. She'll sit the child on the pudge or so somebody called defects on her. So I guess she thought it was me called defects. So she sent a thread in the message and I can read it. Um, she said, not you trying to get caught a tuck from me. Watch what I tell you, watch your back because it's up for your ass. Then she showed up at my house. I called the police. I have police reports on all of this. She showed up at my house. And then, um, and that was before September of them. It's kind of like going back. September the 11th, uh, when I went down trying to be like the situation, she left the baby, but she came back on September the 12th with, with the police saying we just took the baby. But she said, on September 11th because the baby was out there in the car while she doing all this. I went and got the baby because the baby was crying. She was like, okay, F it, y'all just keep the baby. Okay, I, I, I know she wasn't telling the truth, but of course the baby needed to be seen by. So I took the baby and, you know, when they got the baby pampers and milk or whatever and just, you know, make sure the baby was comfortable. But she came back with the police the next day. The next day, which was September 12th, things really escalated uh, out of control. And, um, you know, we was trying, I, I showed the police TPO and while the police was reading the TPO, she um said something about, that's why your uh, sister died. You know, she was making reference to my dead sister. And I, I turned around to walk toward her. Um, The police, uh, then she told the police I hit her, but I did not hit her. Okay. You're right. So, so Ms. Sasby, let me ask you, so you are the grandmother of the baby between her and your son. I have nothing to do with it, but she takes it out every time she get mad at my son. She takes it out on the whole family, and that's, right. so, that's what I'm tired of. Does your son live with you? No, he lives, he lives in my he no. lives in my house. And okay. no. Ms. Hector, okay. you're right. I'm sorry. Right. So, Ms. Asbury, does he live with you? No, he lives down the street in my home at 25 9. I let oh. my son live in my home at 25. All right. Does he come to your house a lot? Yeah, he does. Uh -huh. right. so and, he, I go, and I go to 25 9 because he have other kids. So I help out with my other grandkids while my other grandkids were there. So I'm so I'm at both houses at all times. All right. So your position is when she gets mad at him or whatever, she uses you as a grandma and a babysitter when she wants to. When she gets mad at him or gets mad at you, she comes over there, acts out, and you feel in fear for your safety. 
Yes, because she's she's very yes. She to me, uh, I, I don't I don't want to say she's mental. Uh, because I don't I can't diagnose that, but something is wrong, y'all. All right, I got you, Miss Hector. I'll hear from you. Stay on point, Miss Hector. Right, I'm gonna stay on point. Go ahead. Okay, so ever since I had my child before, um, Terrence. Before we started going back and forth, it was no back and forth until his mom got involved. His mom started telling the baby father that we had to be married for him to help me. This man was staying in my house and she told him he couldn't help me. And I was on my six weeks, couldn't work, couldn't do nothing. She was telling him, don't help me with my child. It started, it started being a problem when he started like not helping me. I'm asking him like, just help me. I got everything that I need. Just help me. Just watch my child. That's it. I don't ask this man for no money, no nothing. Just watch my child. Anytime me and Terrence get into it, I come to his house. And whenever we get into it, she comes down there. She calls the police. This man has literally brutally, brutally, he abused me and all. And they sit and watch him abuse me. And every time we have an ossification, she calls the police. She come down there. She involves herself. Terrence don't call the police. She calls the police. She don't help with my child. She tell him, don't get my child. All right. She mentioned other stuff. You coming over to where she lives and all that and uh, scared, putting her in fear for her safety. What about that? She came where she lives. She comes where I am. She comes to his house. Well, his house is actually her house. It, belongs to her. it doesn't, but it doesn't matter if I'm not coming to you. Why are you coming to me? She, Do you live in her house? I have a child with her son, so it don't have nothing to do with her. Why are you in our business? He lives in her house. No, he okay. paid back to her. So, and he come to my house all the time. So what? We have a child together. You can't make me stop bringing my child to him. And she also put her hands on me. She took my child, and when I came back to get my child, they didn't want to give me my child. So, yes, I came with the police officer, and when we was talking to the police officer, she was talking mess, and I talked mess back to her. All I said was, you are raising an abusive man, and you're expecting me to feel sorry for you because your sister died. You're raising your son to be abusive. I have scars. I have pictures of this man brutally, like literally dragging me on the concrete down the hill. This man is bigger than me. I can't. I can't. Like, I don't have nobody on my side. That's crazy. Hold on right quick. This is my baby. I'm on the phone with the court. It's your mom. That's what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm on court with your mama. You want to explain to her? Anything else, Ms. Hector? Yes, it's a lot. It's just a lot. It's just she always involving herself. She also put her hands on me while I was sitting in the car. Didn't do anything to her. Like I was saying, I told her I wasn't saying, oh, that's why your sister is dead. I was making Stay. a point. All right. All right. All right. All right. And she put her hands on me, though. That's what I'm saying. Hey, you, like, don't, you don't have a counterclaim. Nothing I can do about that. Anything else, Miss Asbury? Yes, Your Honor. Um, to, when she's saying that my I, I never tell my child that's my grandchild why would I tell my child not to take care of his baby anything else is um, really no 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 ma'am all right all right but let me put your emails in the chat I'm gonna put this in place for 12 months that's fine I don't gotta be around her don't want to be around her put your email in the chat Miss Hector. Thank, thank you thank you your honor all right then y'all can both go ahead and leave thank you 